All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new Bubble updates, the build guides and the AI page generation from Bubble itself. I'll just be giving you a rundown on, you know, how to use it and just the basics of it really. So um, on the home page of your Bubble app, you'll see on the left side now that we have a thing called build guides. Now, as you can see, Tell us what you're building and we'll help you map out the features you'll need to build. So this utilizes AI. So you type in what app you want to build and it actually will build out the uh, data types and you know it, it, it kind of predicts what it thinks that you'll need and sets it up for you itself. So how about I just show you instead of telling you. So we'll say a personal finance tracker or just something just for an example so generate my build guides takes a little second generating your build guides here now like this is so useful and like see as you can see so it predicts we're going to need a user sign up and login and next to it as you can see at uh, the, the difficulty so user sign up and login is moderate dashboard overview moderate income tracking moderate expense tracking also moderate and the budgeting tool so it helps users set and track budgets for different categories to manage their finances effectively financial reports generates detailed reports and visualizations of users financial data so let's just press on budgeting tool here right because it's challenging i'll just show you for example's sake so hit start first build <clears throat> And as you can see, start building with these step-by-step -step instructions. See how focusing on individual features can simplify your build process with this build guides made just for your app. So like this is so helpful for especially people that are new to bubble as like, as you can see here. So the steps set up your database is pretty much a guide on how it thinks you should build your app. So step one, set up your database, it tells you exactly how to do that design the budget creation page uh, tells you exactly how to do that again the expense tracking page so this is the, the uh, design aspect here and the workflows implement workflows and then it's preview and test but <clears throat> the uh, main thing we have here is the database structure on the right so we have our different types that it thinks we need so a user you know the user's name is text the budget list of budget so the list of things it's budgeting for the budget itself we have category which is type text so you know it could be for groceries it could be for anything holiday at the category allocated amount so the amount you're like you know saving for that expenses and the list of your current expenses right now so it could be anything from yeah like you know rent bills you know etc etc and the expense here, this is the same thing. So it's the description. So it would be what the expense is, which is text. So explaining the expense, the date, which could be like, you know, when it's due by the date. So if it's a bill, it could be due on a certain date and the amount, so the actual cost of it. So on the right, so that's database structure here. Like that is so helpful for new people in Bubble to, you know, just get a real, just like a, a blueprint of what Bubble actually recommends you to use for your specific application. Like the fact that it maps that out for you and like tells you what it thinks you'll need and how to do it, which is really game changing. So like that, so we go, to, we go scroll down here and keep building your personal finance tracker. Now we have like the user sign up and login. We can hit that now. let that load and then this will like you know tell us the detailed steps on how to build the user sign up and login it'll give us the design the workflow and then you know when we want to test it and make sure it's all good to go it'll it'll show us that so as you can see on the right here we have a user so it, it shows us each uh, data type and the suggested field so now on the user we have a name so and you like could be your name or a user's name, obviously. Budget, so the list of things they're budgeting for. Username, you know, username they create. Text, profile picture, a profile picture they would upload of themselves. Phone number, 
their phone number of type text. And we have on the left here, set up your database, design the sign up page, design the login page, you know, the both workflows there we need, preview and test. And you know, it's, it's just really, you, you go to the next one here and it's the same thing guys. So you just follow along and you know, obviously you get one done, you go to the next one and you do all of them. And yeah, like so these are all moderate here. So they're pretty easy to do. It says follow six steps, so moderate. So it's pretty easy. All right, so that is basically the new build guides update. Now I'll exit off both of these tabs and we'll go back to build and we'll go back to the home page here. And this is the other feature I'm excited to show you. So I'm gonna go into this one, just create a new page, doesn't matter. And then I'll just have a normal thing here set up as fixed. I'll, I'll change it just for sake, but I don't think it really matters. Sort of column and the default blue with a 1200. And then when we go to create a new page here, you can see we have a new thing. So it's add new page with AI and it's in beta. So basically bubble AI will generate a whole page. So it could be a landing page, a dashboard, whatever, based on our application. So I'll press that now. As you can see, what kind of page do you want to generate? We have a landing page, a dashboard, a social feed, a marketplace. We can view more, user profile, product listing, settings, and a sign-in form. I'm just going to show a landing page, for example. So obviously you would choose whatever you need. Like you could need a landing page, it builds it for you. Dashboard, builds it for you. But for now, I'll show you the landing page. We'll go next. And then you need to tell it, like basically explain what you want. So on your landing page you know you might want five features you might want a call to action you might want an image and a hero section yeah it's just really a footer like it just depends what you want so i'm just going to do a basic very basic example so a landing page for my personal finance tracker application and use existing style variables so Basically, the style is you set up in your app. If you press tick to that, it will automatically, um, you know, choose the buttons to match the color of your primary button color and your text. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do that. So hit tick on that. Generate with AI. And we can open the editor in new tab like that because it says, as you can see there, this can take a few minutes. Continue editing your app in a new tab while your page loads. And we can actually add another one as well if we wanted. So let's add a dashboard here and a customizable dashboard for my personal finance tracker application. Generate with AI and that's working as you can see. So now we have two pages getting generated by AI. So writing page text. So yeah, you can you can have as many as you want uh, going at the same time, but you get a limit just for now while it's in beta to 25 entries a week. So you can only do 25 generated pages a week for now. So as you can see, our landing page is nearly done. Choosing beautiful images on the right, building relevant page sections, applying additional styles. And here we go. So right there, like this, look what it's done for us. It's, it's got the hero section. It's got our social proof section. So you could have logos there of companies that you, you, you know, you've done work with or and you've got a call to action down here, big call to action. We have the features of the app like that. We have the user testimonials. We got blog articles. We got a, uh, another call to action. So if like a sign up for an email. So stay updated with our latest finance tips. So it could be an email list there, utilizing an app like Beehive or something like that. And then we have a footer down below. And let's check how our uh, uh, dashboard's coming along. So just like that, as you can see, it has everything, all users, their top spend, recurring, overdue. Look at that, graphs, that is crazy. Uh, it's got on the left, we've got a, a uh, nav bar, overview, budget reports, Everything's fully responsive too. So if I go down 992, it's fine. 768, you can see it collapses. 
576, same. 320, which is the smallest possible size. It's fully responsive, look at that. Same with the dashboard here, let's have a look. 320, just like that. And yeah, so that is basically how to use the new Bubble uh, AI features. As I said, you get 25 per week while it's still in beta. So um, yeah, I, I, I would, you know, choose wisely and try not to waste them. So uh, yeah, that is how to use the new Bubble AI features. Like this is like totally game changing, especially for new people in Bubble. Like the fact that they can do that or you know, you can generate a page just based on a simple prompt and it's all ready to go. And then all you need to do is just make it all functional, obviously, like adding in the relevant workflows and data types and all that stuff. But it just takes care of all the design work for you. So it's just sort of one less thing you have to sort of worry about and learn really. But yeah, so that is uh, basically it. So if you like this type of uh, content, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. and. Let me know of uh, other video ideas you want to see in the future as well. It, it really helps me out. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.